Well, hello everybody. This is Cynthia. Welcome to my channel. And today is June 1st and I have been procrastinating for the last six months on a major project, okay, that I really, really need to tackle. And for the last six months, I have been walking in and out of my closet every day saying you need to do something with this because it's totally out of control. I can't find stuff. And so I took a clue from my husband who over the last, this past weekend, decided to start helping me. He gave me a clue and said, okay, he didn't even tell me. Actually, he surprised me. I happened to go in my closet. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, this is my clue to get this closet organized. And I'm going to show you what he started for me. But before I begin, if you are in the same predicament that I am, even if it's procrastinating on something else outside of your closet, start today. It's June 1st. Let's get it. Let's get moving. All right, so let me just show you the catastrophe here, okay? So, okay. I'm embarrassed to show people this, but okay. So here is like a full view of my closet. As you can see, stuff on the floor. I got stuff on my chair. Um, no rhyme or reason, just stuff everywhere. So, okay. So in this first set of shelves, um, you know, I have plenty of storage space. I just need to utilize it. Okay. I have plenty of hangers. I went out and purchased hangers about three weeks ago and they're still in the same spot okay so i have this this beauty mirror i won't take it down but those bulbs light up but you have to plug it up but i don't have an electrical outlet in my closet and i did not realize that so working on that um and then um this shelf is supposed to be for all of my perfumes okay so as you can see i have a little collection here not much and then i got stuff just randomly thrown in this shelf here's another shelf just stuff randomly thrown in I don't even know what all this stuff is, like gloves. I don't even know why gloves are in here. And anyway, um, here's my little jewelry. I got my jewelry just thrown in. No rhyme or reason, just thrown in. Okay, I need to get that organized. And I have a drawer of hats and scarves, no organization. Just I always have to rumble through it. Another drawer of hair products. And then this middle section here um, of my closet. It's my little makeup area here and i have more jewelry just randomly thrown on the stand i have this huge bag here with more hair products okay and this is where i'm supposed to do my do my makeup okay i don't quite have enough lighting but i make it work right again just stuff thrown in here all on you know got stuff all on my my chair here see this purse is supposed to be <clears throat> hung up just thrown on the chair that's why i can't find stuff and so here we have a little closer look of my closet just colors everywhere i need to have this color coded this will help me see okay i got more shelving up top where i can put shoes i got sweaters look at that sweaters are not folded just thrown up there okay oh goodness and then i have um <clears throat> underneath some of my clothing i have more shelving see just purses just thrown in there you know and, and then I, I wonder why i can't find stuff i wonder why i can't find stuff it's crazy Okay, I have an actual shoe rack, and look at the shoes on the floor, okay, and um, them little purses that I showcase here, um, look, they're not even, they're, some are just thrown in there, you know, they're not even standing, no organization, uh, see, I have sh shoes on top of shoes, okay, it's crazy, right, here we have, uh, more shoes up top. See, I need to organize this by seasons, and that, that will help a little bit, okay? And again, just clothes in here. These are like all my dresses, um, jackets, my items that are a little bit longer. Um, no color at all, okay? And um, here is the area I wanted to show y'all. My husband surprised me over the weekend, and he folded my jeans and my t-shirts see that he's such a sweetheart because all this stuff was thrown in here it was just i was pulling stuff out to find it and just getting frustrated not able to find what i was looking for and so just pulling stuff out not folding it back up not putting it back in its place so this weekend he folded my jeans and my t-shirts got sweaters and um warm-up suits he did all that for me this weekend so this is my clue this is the hint he gave me and i said okay since January 1st. Come on, Cynthia. Let's get together. Okay. So see here, I have 
you know, bags. This is some stuff that I got that I haven't even, I, I purchased it. What is it? What is it? Okay. Person, a pair of shoes. I haven't even put, put it up yet. And that's why, because I don't have room. And I use this little step, this two-step stair case to help me get up top because I can't reach up there up top where my shoes and such are. And so I have this rack, this closet rack here in the middle of my closet, okay? And I use it solely for the purpose of helping me to pack. So when I pack, I put my clothing on this little uh, mobile um, clothing rack and it helps me to see what I'm packing and I'll put my shoes there. So it helps me pack and it helps me stay organized and I don't have to worry about if I miss something, if I got something. And so when I get everything packed up, I, I like this little rack because, you know, I can roll it out, pull it out and really, really see what I have um, on the on the rack and what I'm going to uh, pack in my suitcase. OK, so in addition, I have these couple of drawers here for a little my little intimate apparel. I just, again, have this stuff folded in. All this stuff is just, you know, just folded in. It's ridiculous. OK. And this here is a mirror and inside this door, more stuff. Okay. I have, see, I have shelving up top, shelves that are empty. Um, I have all of these purses just thrown in. I, I need to organize them because I'll be looking for my stuff and I cannot find it. This is ridiculous. Okay. It was in order last year at one time, but six months of unorganized closet not putting stuff back when I take it out just throwing it together so that's what happens and then up top here I have you know hair dryer I have more hats so as you can see I have empty space I have space to put stuff and why is my closet so unorganized I do not know but we're going to tackle the task today so this is a before picture and I'm going to show you the after picture so stay tuned I'm hoping in the next two three hours I've made some headway and this closet of mine ugh, will look much much better stay tuned
okay, see, stuff like this, you know, like, I'm not wearing this on. Let me be clear. I have enough closet. I have enough closet to wear my heavier type items that I wear more, so. Hold on, put, those, put this off the side, put that in my other. In my other part. Yeah. are by the ball studios that's what they say the ball studios non-slip hangers okay you see that you get 35 in a pack and for 16.99 just let the closet look really really nice okay y'all this is cynthia back at tackling the closet and y'all two hours later two hours later i feel like i have not made any progress oh my god so i managed to get i managed to get the top closet arranged and to include replacing the hangers with the standard hangers so i was able to get that top level complete so you can see we have light to dark okay all the way there in the back and i did manage to straighten out my sweaters so we do have sweaters folded up and tucked away in a nice neat fashion okay let me straighten this out i hate when my stuff is just not lining up here like it's supposed to so that should be Line it up real nice and neat because it took me a long time to fold those up nice and neat. So, so far, um, okay, this is what we have. And so we're starting to make a little headway. We have the hangers up. Okay, so down at the bottom, y'all, oh my gosh, these are the hangers. Okay, and this is just from the top shelf hangers. And, y'all, these are... These are the clothes that I am giving away. Um, yeah, I mean, I wish you could really see uh, this. This is like pals and pals of clothing. Um, I gotta fold this up because I don't like just balling my stuff up and putting it in a bag. I like to fold it up and hand it to the people nice and neat, okay? So, oh my gosh. And this is just one side. I still have some purging to do on the other side. Um, 
So, yeah, there's all kind of skirts. And I got suits, pants, dresses, shirts, sweater. So, after two hours, that's where we are. So these are all the clothes that I've purged from my closet that are folded and what will go to the Goodwill tomorrow. So I forgot to count, but let's say so there's about 10 pairs of pants there. Uh, shirts, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd say about 13 shirts, eight dresses, nine, nine skirts, um, four sweaters. Oh, here's another stack of pants. That's three, four, five, six. So yeah, another six pairs of pants. So yeah, this will all be going into the Goodwill tomorrow. We'll back those up. Okay, on my way to take these bags of clothes to the Goodwill. So we have six bags from clearing out my closet. So they're about to go in the trunk here. All right, y'all, I will see y'all there. Three bags. No, just the uh, bags. Thank you. All right, appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, so that's the receipt they give you. I have all my items itemized at home, so I'll be writing them down and I will be saving them so that I can have something right off on my taxes in 2023, even though it really don't help, but I'm glad I was able to give away some good quality items. All right, so I'm almost finished with my closet. And now I am on my way to one of my favorite shops. I've gotten a little bit inspired. Um, I'm gonna pick up some accessories for my closet. So y'all come on, go with me. Okay, made it to Westside Market. Thing going on in the closet. Let's see. It's $95 for that size. 
65 for the smaller one, 135 for the larger one. Nope, nope. They have nice stuff in here, but sometimes they just be overpriced for no reason. Just because it's a unique store and either you're gonna get it or you're not, and so they're not worried about it because somebody will. Yep. Now you know I saw this last time. I'm surprised it's still here. I like this. It's a potpourri balloon holder. But I bet you the smell is gone away. I don't know, I'm just still there. Probably have to refill it from time to time. But that would be a good size. That would fit on my shelves. Mm hmm that would fit on my shelves. Okay, let's see. What's that over here? Huh, $45. Let me think on that. Let me think on that. Let me think on that. I don't like that. Now, the thing here at Westside Market, when you buy it, it's yours. Okay. When you buy it, it is yours. So, you want to be sure that you're really, really like it. Times five. Okay. Purchases here are not the sort of kind that I like. No. You really, really like it. Anyway, and just hold it to the side in case I, I run across a little girl. Give it to her. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now that would be kind of cool. It's a battery operated lamp and it's functional. Okay, and I could use this in my closet for more light and put my makeup on. Hmm. 
something to think about. I'm not sure. I don't quite care for the copper color, but it is functional. And I am looking for function. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see. More earrings. Not quite my speed, but something like them. Okay, now I like this vase. $32. Okay, I like that vase. I do like that vase. Hmm, something else to think about? Okay. It's affordable. Yeah, so it's gotta be affordable. It's gotta be functional. Y'all, I love these vases. Vase. Okay. I feel like I scored, so I am on my way out. And back to the house. Oh, Westside Market. Never disappoints, never disappoints. Always find something in here, always. Okay, thanks for coming along with me. It was fun. I hope you had fun too. So, now, I am going to go back home and put up my five minute timer and I'm almost about ready for my after picture because I showed you guys my before picture so now it's my um, after picture for my closet okay so anyway stay tuned and I will show you the big reveal Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is Cynthia, and I started off uh, showing you my closet and showing you what a mess it was and uh, took some before pictures, and so here's the end result. So um, as you can see, I rearranged uh, my purses there and my shoes, rearranged those, and I rearranged my closet so that it would be color-coded from light to dark. And so we have here color-coded, goes from beige, pink, little multicolor, blue, black, red, and there you have it up top folded up sweaters okay got those as neat as i could up there okay and then on the other side same thing these are all my dresses they go from um, blue shades of blue to multicolor pinks then we have like our earth tone colors there and then we have our white and then it goes back there i have the scarves and whatnot there um, more shoes here as you can see, more shoes. Straighten all those out. Got rid of some shoes. Okay. And then I redid this whole middle section here. This shelf here just had a whole bunch of t-shirts. Just stuff thrown in there. So I put all of my sweatsuits up top. And I have empty shelf there. Have some um, um, like um, leggings there. These are the t-shirts that my husband helped me fold up. And, uh, you know, put a little bit of personal stuff in. And um, so then I have my drawers here and so I just rearranged my drawers and so I have you know intimate wear first drawer because I had my intimate wear in another um, dresser drawer and it did not make sense I don't know why I had but I put everything here so more intimate wear and then I have like pajamas I got uh, bathing suits here and then I have my swimsuits or excuse me uh, my um, pajamas I have you know some pajamas in that drawer and then um, here is a mirror and inside my mirror I had a whole bunch of purses and just stuff in there so rearrange that have some um, containers up top more purses I have my um, hair dryer I have uh, my hats just more items there and then on the opposite side you can see here I have more purses here make room for more purses my um, makeup tray I think I showed you all that and then this is my uh, makeup area so I got that all arranged and then I have another area here where I have hair accessories, hair accessories and I got some couple of empty shelves so I made room there some more personal items and some more um, baskets here for some miscellaneous items and of course I did a little peek there on my jewelry and um, so these are all my hats and then I really arranged all of my other hair items like wigs I actually labeled them because I was just going in and out of these bags just not even knowing so I do have them on a label so I can come in here real easy readily pick out the hair items they're all labeled so that is the end result and as you saw before I had stuff all on the floor nothing on the floor 
anymore. All my hangers are uniform. Don't have those multicolor different types. So this is the final result of my closet purging and cleaning <laughs> and organizing. And let me just say, I thought it was going to take me two or three hours. This wound up being a two-day project from start to finish. So a little bit more than I thought. But the good news is it is done. And oh, let me show you my find from West Side Market. When you guys went with me shopping, remember I said I wanted something functional and affordable and I got both. This is a five minute timer. And you know how we always are crunch for time and we're getting ready and we're saying, oh, I just need five more minutes and that five minutes turns into more like 30 minutes. So I thought this was perfect for my closet as an accessory um personal item that is both functional and it was affordable $16.99 is what I paid for it at the West Side Market and so when I'm crunched for time I'm going to use my little timer to keep me on track y'all and one other thing I want to point out is I have space space up top there more space up top there I have two open shelves empty okay i have another shelf empty space up top there space up top there and you know what that means i have space for more shopping and such perfect timing my children my lovely children they purchased me for mother's day a gift card to one of my favorite boutiques called Foxes. Isn't that cute how they package up the little gift card? So yeah, now that I have all this open shelf, all this space, she's going to be going to Foxes. And stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to take y'all. No worries. I'm going to take you. So that concludes my closet reveal. I uh, hope you had a good time watching. If you watch um to the end please subscribe to my channel and like share and any comments all right see you next time